Donald Trump's former lawyer, Michael Cohen, has revealed that the ex-president's wife, Melania Trump, was the brain behind his locker room talk excuse, which was used to explain away the infamous Access Hollywood tape. He also claimed that Trump was never concerned about Melania but was only concerned about the impact of Stormy Daniels' story on his 2016 presidential campaign. Trump's hush money trial continued on Monday, with his former lawyer, Cohen, taking to the stand to testify. For the period the testimony lasted, the self-acclaimed fixer for the former president treated the jury to several never-before-heard information, one of which was how Melania was seemingly the one behind Trump's excuse to take control over the story of the leaked Access Hollywood footage. He wanted me to reach out to all my contacts in media, Cohen told those in the courtroom about Trump's reaction to the footage coming to light. He added, we needed to put a spin on this, that this is locker room talk, something that Melania had recommended, that's what Melania had thought it was, and used that in order to get control over the story and to minimize its impact on him and his campaign. The leaked Access Hollywood footage went viral one month before the 2016 election, which was later won by Trump, defeating his main opponent, Hillary Clinton. In the footage, which featured the former president and then host of Access Hollywood, Billy Bush, Trump could be heard boasting about groping women, adding, when you're a star, they let you do it. It immediately led to Trump facing backlash for his lewd and sexually charged comments. However, the billionaire mogul released a statement claiming it was just mere locker room banter and took a shot at Clinton's husband. Trump said at the time, per AP News, this was locker room banter, a private conversation that took place many years ago. Bill Clinton has said far worse to me on the golf course, not even close. I apologize if anyone was offended. Melania also defended her husband when the news went viral, claiming that it was all organized by the opposition, per CNN. She also said her husband was egged on to engage in such a conversation. Ahead of the hush money trial, it was speculated that Trump's attorneys would try to use Melania as an excuse to explain why he instructed Cohen to pay hush money to Stormy Daniels to hide their affair. Unsurprisingly, they went on to argue that the former president only did the deal to protect his family and was not inspired by wanting to protect his presidential campaign. However, during Cohen's testimony, he claimed that this was not the case. How long do you think I'll be on the market for? Not long, Cohen recalled his conversation with Trump after Daniels attempted to come forward with her story, per Yahoo. He added about the former president, he wasn't thinking about Melania. This was all about the campaign. Cohen also claimed that he told Trump that they needed to take care of the issue, to which the billionaire mogul allegedly replied, absolutely. Do it, take care of it. Cohen also shared more details about his role as Trump's special counsel and executive vice president of the Trump Organization. As part of his testimony, the self-proclaimed fixer for the real estate mobile claimed that he would sometimes bully individuals on behalf of Trump and occasionally lie for him. He further alleged that he assisted with press matters for the former president, including addressing writers of articles that Trump found unfavorable and killing of stories. Cohen also confirmed the previous testimony made by former National Enquirer publisher David Pecker about working for Trump to catch and kill negative stories about him. He also revealed that he indeed wired the sum of $130,000 as a hush payment to Daniels after getting Trump's sign-off. During her testimony, Daniels claimed that Trump was the beneficiary of the NDA she signed and that she only signed it to ensure her safety, noting that she never cared for the amount of money she was being offered.